The desperate search for survivors in the hours after a magnitude 6 earthquake. Most of the death and devastation is in the remote eastern Paktika province, along the Pakistan border. The injured carry to helicopters in blankets. There's no sophisticated equipment up in these villages. Uh, these are people who lived hand to mouth. Many of the dead reportedly children asleep when the earthquake hit. These are very simple homes made of mud bricks that crumble really, really easily. Um, and so we're deeply concerned that there are still people underneath uh, the rubble that uh, haven't been rescued yet. It was so dangerous. We left home immediately, says this man. A lot of people were injured. It is the deadliest earthquake in Afghanistan in at least two decades, felt as far away as India. The devastation compounding an ongoing drought, a hunger crisis and the economic collapse following the departure of US-led troops last year. All the development agencies, uh, or most of them, left Afghanistan. So what it means concretely for the population is, is additional challenges to face on a daily basis. It's left a desperately poor country even less able to deal with a disaster like this.